Today we are in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, exploring this historic city's famed Christmas display. Join me on a tour through one of America's best Christmas destinations as we explore the best things to do and see in this fascinating winter wonderland. Hey everyone, JP here and welcome back to another episode of Project Gaia. Today we are in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Now, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania is known to have one of the most beautiful Christmas displays in the United States uh, and definitely for sure on the East Coast. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to explore the town a little bit and show you um, all the Christmas displays and what makes this such a special Christmas destination here on the East Coast. Now where we are now is the uh, Colonial Industrial Park, right? So what this is basically is um, an old industrial park filled with historic buildings. There's like a tannery, a butchery, and they used to do a lot of um, early commerce right here on this river. So it's really something to see when you first get here. Most of the displays that we're going to see later are at night. So we got here in like the uh, late afternoon, uh, but the sun goes down early in December. So, you know, if you come here by like four or five, the lights are already started. The Colonial Industrial Quarter is known as the oldest industrial park in the United States and is filled with both ruined and intact historical buildings dating back to the 18th and 19th centuries. Though these buildings are no longer functional, it offers you an opportunity to step back into the past and the park has become a picturesque area to relax in Bethlehem before you dive into all of the famous Christmas stores, booths, and activities in town. So right up the hill from the Colonial Industrial Park um, is the Moravian Blacksmith Shop. So in this area, they actually have a lot of cool little Christmas displays and they have a very, very nice Santa Claus. So you could bring your kids, uh, you can sit them on Santa's lap, take pictures, and it's completely free. Um, and then you can kind of take a look into the blacksmith shop, uh, see how they used to, you know, create all these interesting metals and tins and steels and all the stuff and how they did it back in the day so it's a very historic city bethlehem prides itself on its history so it's no wonder santa claus sits next to an authentic sleigh from the mid 1800s after you get your photo with santa explore some of the pop-up christmas booths in the area Next, head over to the Moravian Bookshop. This historic bookshop dates back to 1745, making it older than the United States as we know it and has been here since Pennsylvania was a colony of England. The store is a kid's heaven on earth as there are tons of toys, puzzles, games, books, and more for little ones. The store of course also is the home to many interesting books and has fascinating Christmas ornaments, home goods, and other festive things you can get to make your own home a winter wonderland. Next, make your way down Main Street. This is the hub of the Bethlehem Christmas display where hundreds of local mom and pop shops go all out with everything Christmas. The picturesque corridor is truly unique and is sure to get even the worst Grinch into the Christmas spirit. So once the sun goes down, like I mentioned before, it gets really beautiful, right? Because there's so many lights up and you know, there's music playing, there's singers. Um, it really is a really nice Christmas vibe. So um, I recommend coming here maybe a couple hours before the sun goes down. It's like I said before, um, in December, that's like, you know, three, four o'clock, the sun goes down at like five-ish. So um, do that, explore it a little bit, and then have dinner, I had dinner, and then, you know, we walked out and all the lights were up. And it's really cool because you see these lights flickering on the, you know, these historic buildings. So it really is a very nice Christmas vibe. 
What I love about Bethlehem at Christmas time is the old world charm of everything. Bethlehem was named on Christmas Eve in 1741 and has maintained its close association with Christmas ever since. As you peruse down the historic Main Street with many buildings dating back to the mid to late 18th century, you can't help but feel transported back in time. Bethlehem really encapsulates that small town Christmas village with its small walkable streets filled with independent boutiques, restaurants, cafes, and bars all decked out with spectacular Christmas lights and decorations. It truly is an enchanting experience and makes you feel connected to the story of Christmas and even though busy, seems to help you slow down and just enjoy it all. Okay, now after you finish downtown Bethlehem, you know, like the main street that we were just on, you want to head over to the Chris Kindle Mark of Bethlehem. Now, this is a very interesting site because it is housed on the grounds of an old steel foundry, but they make it absolutely beautiful. It means there's tons of trees, decorations, ornaments, um, and it is an amazing place where a lot of people from all over the region come together. People from as far as Philly and New York City come here uh, to visit this Chris Kindle Market. And when you're here, you have lots of stores, there's bars, there's lots of food, artisanal kind of things. So it really is something to see. So let's head in. Bethlehem's Chris Kindle Market is one of the largest in the United States, offering you everything Christmas. Keep your wives away from this one, as I'm sure they'll want to get everything in sight. This market brings together the craft of local Pennsylvania artists and artisans and allows you to get truly unique items for your home, attire, unique foods, and more. The market is half indoor and half outdoor with several large tents offering you different themes of merchandise and Christmas activities. This market is perfect for families, kids, and is a great romantic destination for dates as well. As you step outside, you will be immersed in a truly spectacular winter wonderland. Amazing lights, igloos, fires, more pop-up merchandise, and more await you all under a dramatically beautiful Christmas tree. This is the perfect place to warm up next to the fire and take some photos, or cool down if you had one too many spiked hot cocos from the bar inside. When you're in the Bethlehem Chris Kindle Mart, make sure you watch out for an igloo. So the igloos are completely free. You can come in here and you can have it all to yourself and it's not timed or anything. So um, if you want your own little private vibe next to the tree, try to snag one of these igloos. Also, make sure to check out the ice sculptural area. Here you can get up close and personal and see how these beautiful and delicate true works of art are made. Just watch out for flying ice though. Okay guys, this sums up our big Bethlehem, Pennsylvania Christmas Spectacular. Now Bethlehem, Pennsylvania has a lot more than just their Christmas display. Um, it's an incredibly historic city and there's a lot to see and do here. Uh, stay tuned, in the next couple months we're gonna do a Bethlehem Not Christmas version too. So uh, take a look at that if you're interested guys. And if you're interested in this kind of content, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like this video, share this video, leave me your comments below. Let me know if there's anything you missed or anything you liked or didn't like. Okay guys, until next time, take care. Bye.